everyone, my name is Ellen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play It Ain't Me by Kaigo and Selena Gomez on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something that you want to learn. Had a dream, we were sipping whiskey neat, highest for the bell. So I'm going to be honest, I've been playing this song non-stop today since I learned it this morning because it's just so much fun to play. Um, it's very repetitive so it's very beginner friendly and there's only five chords for the whole song and only one of them is a bar chord which is F. Um, if you guys have trouble with bar chords, I will also show you an alternate fingering so you don't have to bar any chords. And besides that, there's no capo and there's only two strumming patterns that I'm going to teach you guys for the entire song. Um, towards the end of the video, I will also throw in a picking pattern if that's something that you want to venture out into, but you definitely don't need to know it to play the song. So it's really great for beginners, so let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Get through the dark side of the morning, it ain't me. So before we continue, I do just want to take a moment to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by a company called DistroKid. And what they are is they're a music distribution company, so they help you get your songs onto things like Google Play Music, Amazon Music. Uh, Pandora, iTunes, all of that good stuff. And so I recently made an account and signed up with DistroKid because those of you who have followed me for years know that I actually like to write my own songs as well. So I'm not going to be distributing my songs just yet, I'm not at that level. But um, from my experience with using DistroKid so far, it's been a great one. The best thing about them is that they let you keep 100% of your royalties. So um, a lot of other distribution companies Companies, they will take a percentage of whatever it is that you would normally earn and they get to keep that. But with DistroKid you get to keep 100% of everything you earn and then also it's really affordable because it's only $20 for an entire year's membership and that includes unlimited uploads. So if you have hundreds of songs that you want to share with the world, you can do that with DistroKid and they'll get you there faster because they're able to start sharing your songs within two to four hours of when you post them. A lot of other companies take days even to get your songs out there into the ears of your listeners. But with DistroKid, it'll be super fast, it's very affordable, you get to keep 100% of the royalties, and it's a year's membership for only $20, and you can save even more money if you use my link here or also in the description box below, distrokid.com slash VIP slash Forever Faithful. So I know since you're watching this video, you must be a music lover, you must love playing the guitar, and if you are one of those musicians who would like to share your own songs, it doesn't even have to be originals. They can also help you monetize cover songs. So um, if you guys are interested in sharing that music with everyone across the world, please take a second after watching this video to check out distrokid.com and just kind of see what they have to offer you. This is a really great service and I've just really enjoyed working with them. Alright, so like I said, to play this song you don't need a capo, it is in standard tuning and there's only five chords. So let's go ahead and jump into what those look like. So let's go ahead and jump into what these chords look like. The first one you need to know is A minor, which looks like this and sounds like this. Next we have C, which looks like this and sounds like this. After that we have F, which looks like this, and sounds like this. Then we have G, which looks like this, and sounds like this. And then our last chord is one that you may not have seen before. It's an E7 chord and it looks like this and sounds like this. And now going back to that F chord, if bar chords are hard for you, there is an alternate version you can play, um, an alternate fingering, which looks like this and sounds like this. Just remember if you play the alternate version, when you're strumming, try not to strum this top or this bottom string because it will sound a little bit weird. But yeah, so those are all the chords you need to know for the entire song. 
Alright, so once you have those chords memorized and you know all the hand shapes and you can transition between them pretty well, let's go ahead and move on to the strumming patterns that you need to know for this song. Whiskey need highest for the Bowery and nowhere's high enough. So for beginners out there, I always advise that people start the same way, which is you're just going to go through the song and for each chord change, you're just going to strum down one time and that will just help you figure out where all of the chord changes are going to happen, like what word you'll be singing, things like that. So it kind of just helps you get a little bit more familiar with the song. So I'm going to go ahead and show you an example starting at the beginning of the song. Go ahead and put your A minor chord on because that's what it starts with and you're just going to go ahead and strum down once. A minor. Go ahead and go through the rest of the song. You're going to strum down once on every chord change just so you're more familiar with where they're going to take place. And then once you've done that a couple times, go ahead and try to add in your singing now so that you can kind of get the feel of what it's like to play the guitar and sing at the same time. So I'll go ahead and show you the beginning. I had a dream. Just like that, you want to take mental notes of what word you're going to be singing while you're changing those chords, and that'll really help you later on when the strumming patterns get a little bit more complicated. Now usually I use this as a practice pattern, but this one down strum pattern is actually used in the song in the pre-chorus. So let me go ahead and show you what that sounds like. Put your F chord on, because that's what we're going to start with. Who's going to walk you through the dark side of the morning? So that is the only part of the song that I'll be using this pattern for, but if you are super new to guitar and this is all you can handle for now, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead and play through the whole song with just the one down strums. It'll sound great either way. And then when you get used to that and it becomes a little boring, then you can try to put in some of those more complicated strumming patterns. Alright, so once you have that down and you know where you're going to be expecting all of those chord transitions, we can go ahead and jump into our long strumming pattern or the strumming pattern that I will use for the entire song. Um, I know that sounds a little bit boring to use the same strumming pattern for the whole song, but I will show you different ways that you can make it sound a little different even though it's exactly the same strumming pattern. So let me go ahead and show you what the rhythm is. We've got down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. I know it's a long one. Um, we're going to break it up in half though, so don't worry. Here's that rhythm again. So let's go ahead and put our A minor chord on and we're gonna go through the first half of this pattern together. So we've got down, 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 up. And that's all we're gonna be playing with this first chord. So we've got down, 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 up. With the second half of this pattern, we're actually going to move on to our next chord, which is C. So we've got A minor, down, 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 up, then we switch to C, down, up, down, 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 up. Okay, again, we've got A minor, down, 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 up, switch to C. One more time without stopping, we've got a minor. Once you get that rhythm, the rest of the song is pretty much the same, so we're just going to be switching chords. So first we have a minor.
last G chord, we did hold it out for the entire pattern. There are some times when you're going to be cutting this pattern in half, and other times when you will be holding the same chord for the whole pattern. That should come a little bit more naturally if you're familiar with this song, but let's go ahead and start to speed it up a little bit. So with our A minor chord, we've got down, 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 up, C. Practice that with me again, we're just going to go between those two chords. A minor, C. A minor, C. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. If it's too hard right now, definitely just pause the video and practice it slower at your own pace until you can transition and you get the rhythm down. But I'm going to go ahead and speed it up just a little bit more. We've got down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. A minor, C. Now I'm going to speed it up one more time so that we're at the tempo of the actual song. Okay? to speak that fast but um, anyways that's about the tempo that I'm going to be taking the cover at the end so try to work your way up to that tempo um, if you are having a little bit of difficulty definitely just pause the video right here and go at your own tempo until you are able to slowly speed it up until you can get it a little bit faster but I'm gonna go ahead and move on and show you guys how this would sound in the song so the way that I'm playing it right now is I'm using a pick and I'm letting all the strings ring whenever I play it. So it's very loud and echoey and I think that the way of playing this pattern sounds the best with the chorus. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys through the chorus so you guys can see what that sounds like. Like I said, this is like the basic way of playing it. There's another thing you can do, which I know a lot of you guys have trouble with this, so make sure you leave a comment below if you would like me to do a TMT or something on how to palm mute. But one easy way to manipulate this exact same pattern is to add a palm mute. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the side of my right hand that strums, and I'm gently laying them on the string right in between the bridge and the sound hole. And so now whenever I play, instead of ringing, it, it's just a little more, more muted. And when you combine that with the rhythm of this pattern, it just sounds really fun, really great. So let me go ahead and show you what that sounds like. You can hear the pattern is still exactly the same. All I'm doing is adding a palm mute and it's making it sound a little bit more rhythmic. when I palm mute things is whenever you strum down, it should be muted, but I like to actually lift my palm up whenever I strum up, so it gives it a really cool, unique sound. And it makes the down strums and the up strums sound different. I just, I love it. So go ahead and practice using that palm mute. And so now when I'm playing it with the pick but also with palm muting, a great place to put this strumming pattern in the song is at the beginning of the chorus so you can kind of make it sound different. If you palm mute it at the beginning and then go to a loud strum in the middle, it just kind of brightens up the entire chorus, makes it sound a little bit different. And I will be doing that in my cover at the end so go ahead and watch that if you want an example of what that sounds like. But for the um, palm muting with the pick, I think another great place to put that is in the bridge. So go ahead and put your F chord on because that's the first chord in the bridge and I'm going to show you what it sounds like.
So that part with singing sounds like this. It ain't me. there that I did change the strumming pattern a little bit right there so let me go over that when we have our pattern down 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 up switch to C down up down 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 up right here it's gonna go really fast between G E7 and A minor so what you're gonna do there is with the G chord and the E7 chord you're just gonna go down down up so we've got G down up E7 Let me ring it so you guys can hear. And then when you get to the A minor at the end of this phrase, you're gonna go back to the regular pattern. Down, up, down, 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 up. So that whole phrase there is down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. So you're just changing the pattern a little bit for that G and that E7 chord. So one more time, we've got It ain't me, no, no It ain't me, no, no It ain't me, no, no Who's gonna walk you through the dark side of the morning? It ain't me Alright, and then one last thing I wanted to show you guys again with this exact same pattern is now all I'm doing is I'm going to be dropping my pick. So instead of using my pick, I'm just going to use the side of my thumb. Um, some people don't like to strum with their thumb. I personally love it. I just feel like I'm more one with the guitar, but that's just a personal preference. Um, if you like using a pick, you can definitely use the pick for the entire song. But the reason I like to vary it up and use my thumb also is because it makes the entire pattern sound quieter. So it's really good for adding in dynamics in your song. So let me show you what it sounds like. You can definitely hear the difference in the dynamics, but also it kind of just gives it more of a softer sound. I like to use my thumb to strum whenever it's after the verses, kind of in the transition period. So let me show you what that sounds like. No, I don't wanna know. the only place I'll use it in this song but again like I said I like to kind of change up the guitar as much as possible to make it sound a little less boring so that's just something that I like to throw in there if you like the pick and the way that sounds definitely you can do that for the entire song okay so now you are armed with everything you need to know to play the entire song but like I said at the beginning I am gonna go ahead and show you guys a picking pattern that you can use mostly towards that beginning part when the song starts out um, it won't sound exactly like the original song I made it so that this picking pattern is a little bit easier and you don't have to be playing up on the fretboard which can sometimes be harder so um, let's go ahead and jump into this picking pattern So I've zoomed in a bit on my guitar and let's go ahead and learn this picking pattern. Like I said, it's not going to sound exactly like the original song. This is something that I think is easier to play because you can just put your left hand in those um, chord shapes. So we won't have to learn how to read tabs or anything like that. But um, go ahead and put your A minor chord on and what we're going to do is we're going to be picking with these three fingers. Our thumb, our first finger, and our middle finger. So with your first and your middle finger, you want to put them on the G and the B string. So your first finger on the G string and your middle finger on the B string. And with your thumb, you're going to be changing your thumb with whatever is the lowest string in your chord that you're playing. So since we're starting with A minor, our lowest string will be the fifth string. So that's where we're going to place our thumb. So what you're going to do for this picking pattern is go ahead and pick all three strings at the same time. And then we're going to go ahead and loop back around and do our middle finger and our first finger and our middle finger. So.
So again, that's all three, middle, first, middle. Now if you switch to your C chord, which is the next chord in the song, it's going to be played the exact same way. All three, two, one, two. So we've got A minor, C. And now you do kind of want to pick this in the rhythm that you hear at the beginning of the song. Let's go ahead and move on to our F chord because that's the next one. So for this one, these two fingers will still be on the G and B string, but your thumb is going to move up to this top E string since that's our lowest string in our F chord. But again, we're going to play it the same way. You're going to pick all three and then come back around, two, one, two. And then it goes back to C. So the whole phrase is A minor, C, F, C. And again, I'm starting at the very beginning of the song. So we've got Now the only other chord you need to know how to play is our G chord, and G is going to be like F your thumb is going to be on this top E string, and then your first and second fingers will still be on G and B. So now with your G chord, you play all three, and then two, one, two. So just remember for A minor and C, we're playing five, three, two. And for F and G, we're playing six, three, two. Okay, so now let's string all of that together. We've got A minor, C, F, C, F, C, G, twice. A minor, C, F, C, F, C, G. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys in on a secret. I did just come up with this a few minutes before recording. Um, so this is something that will take time to practice. I personally am having a really hard time playing this and singing it at the same time because the rhythms are different. So just keep that in mind that if you're a beginner, um, things like this take time and you just gotta practice them, which I did not do. My apologies. Um, but hopefully you still think that this pattern is easy enough to attempt. And the only place I like to use them is in the verses. All right, so once you have your chords memorized, you can do the strumming patterns in all the different ways, and you've mastered that picking pattern if you want to learn it, let's go ahead and put all of those elements together and play through the whole song. I'm going to list above me everything that I'll be using, like what type of strumming pattern and stuff like that, as well as putting all the lyrics and chords in front of you. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and play through It Ain't Me by Kaigo and Selena Gomez. Good luck. <laughs> drunk and all alone is gonna walk you through the dark side of the morning it ain't me
drunk and all alone Who's gonna walk you through the dark side of the morning? It ain't me, no, no It ain't me, no, no It ain't me, no, no Who's gonna walk you through the dark side of the morning? It ain't me, oh, 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 o